While taking care of an unidentified plant, a man accidentally pricks his finger on a rose thorn and draws blood. To his surprise, the plant responds vigorously. Seemingly realizing something, the man reluctantly gives it a few drops, and the plant begins growing dramatically. What kind of plant is that? Is it a real carnivorous plant? This is Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a movie titled Little Shop of Horrors 1986 to find out the answers about that mysterious plant. Be aware, there are spoilers. The movie starts off in New York in a place called Skid Row. The main focus of the movie takes place in a flower shop. It's owned by a man named Mr. Mushnick. He runs it with his employee, Seymour Krellborn. While working in the basement, Seymour drops a shelf of plants, annoying Mr. Mushnick. While he cleans up the mess, he overhears a news report from the president talking about a random solar eclipse that happened a week prior. Meanwhile, Mr. Mushnick's other employee, Audrey, comes in very late for work. He notices that she has a black eye and she attempts to deny having one. He suspects that her boyfriend has been abusing her, but pauses his question when Seymour comes up the stairs and drops a bunch of pots. Mr. Mushnick then goes about how his business is failing and how even the bums are sleeping outside of his shop. After making some teens leave the steps of his shop, the neighborhood breaks out in the song about the crummy conditions of the area. Seymour sings about being an orphan on Skid Row and reveals that Mr. Mushnick took him in. Yet, he does not treat him too kindly, even calling him a slob and damaging his self-esteem. Though he longs to leave the place, he does not know how. The sentiment is shared with Audrey, who also wants to leave Skid Row somehow. Back at the shop, nobody is coming into the store. After selling nothing all day, Mr. Mushnick has had enough and decides to close up the shop. Seymour and Audrey try and persuade him that if they find something exciting to display, it will attract new customers. Seymour brings out an unidentified plant, only surmising it's a type of flytrap plant. Since the identity of the plant is unknown, he names it Audrey II after his co-worker. Seymour then puts the plant in the window, hoping to attract new customers. Although Mushnick denies its effectiveness, he is soon proven wrong when a customer notices the plant and comes inside the shop. Seymour reveals that during the solar eclipse, he heard a humming sound and saw the plant. He bought it and had since been trying to maintain it. The customer thanks him for his story and then buys $100 worth of roses. New customers come running in to do business. With the new success, Mushnick tells Seymour to maintain the plant and make sure it grows well. However, he does not know how to make it healthier. Seymour tries to nurse it back to health, though water, sunlight, fertilizer, and minerals have done no good. As he laments about everything he has tried to give the plant, he pricks his finger on a rose. Audrey too then responds vigorously and starts begging for blood and even tries to bite him. He then drips some blood into the mouth of Audrey too and it starts to grow from it, breaking the sides of its container. Due to his care, Audrey too has grown much bigger. Seymour is invited onto a radio show to talk about the plant, doing his best to explain the plant and where the plant is housed. Yet, he does not reveal the secret behind the plant's health. When the host talks over him, the address of the shop is not relayed. Audrey is then confronted by some teens about her relationship, how she is better off with someone like Seymour than her current boyfriend. She knows this, acknowledging a life with him would be what she really wants. However, she is too afraid of her current boyfriend to leave him. Sometime later, Audrey too has gotten much bigger, bringing in so many customers that it's overloaded both Audrey and Seymour. They both go to fix an order Seymour messed up on, and Audrey tells him to treat himself, even offering to help Seymour get some new clothes. Though he had hoped to go that night, she mentions she has a date. It's at this moment we meet her boyfriend, Oren Scrivello, a sadist dentist who enjoys causing pain to his patients. Later that night, Seymour can hear Oren laughing and comes flying in on his bike to pick up Audrey. He shows his abuse by bullying Audrey into being quiet and making her constantly refer to him as a doctor. They eventually drive away, leaving Seymour to vent his frustrations to Audrey too, upset that he treats her badly. As he is about to leave the shop, Audrey too slumps over and begins talking, begging for more fresh blood. It tells him that it can get Seymour anything he wants so long as he provides blood to it. The plant even suggests that there are some people worth killing, including Oren, due to him being so abusive. Seymour agrees to the plan and goes into the dentist's office the next day to see Oren. He waits as Orn has to deal with a man who gets off on the pain as much as Orn, and constantly annoys him senseless. Orn then tells him to get out, having had enough of him. That is when Orn notices Seymour waiting and takes him into the office to get his fix of torture. Orn decides to make his enjoyment better by putting on a gas mask that pumps in nitrous oxide in large amounts into his lungs. He takes in too much gas and breaks the valve by accident, causing him to suffocate on the nitrous oxide. He asks what he does to deserve death, to which Seymour says it's for what he did to Audrey. Later that night, Seymour takes Orrin's body to the shop with Audrey too telling him to chop the body up. Seymour agrees and goes to hack off bits of Orrin's body unaware Mushnick would catch a glimpse of what he has done. 
Audrey, too, eats all of Orin, laughing in joy over its meal. The next day, the police come to speak to Audrey, telling her they suspect Orin had been murdered. She runs off crying with Seymour asking her if it would be so bad if he had died. Audrey admits it would be better if he was dead, which leads her to tell Seymour she does not deserve a man like him. For if she can wish Orin dead, then she deserves to be with him. Seymour then sings about how he respects her and likes her for who she is, regardless of how she feels about herself. She acknowledges that not only does he not order her to do stuff, but he would be making her life better. They then embrace and kiss for the first time. He walks her home, returns to the shop, and heads to his room in the basement. There, Mushnik confronts Seymour about what he has seen the night before. He knows that Seymour killed Orin and chopped him up. And though he denies to the murder, he doesn't deny chopping the body up. Mushnik points a gun at him, telling him he is taking him to the police. Mushnik then tells him he will let him go, run away. In exchange, Mushnik keeps the plant for himself. While Seymour explains how to feed Audrey too, the plant chomps down on Mushnik and devours his whole body. With Mushnik's death, Seymour becomes the sole owner of Audrey too, and now has to make plans left and right. Now fame and fortune have come to him with his face going on magazines and newspapers. In the time he has been doing deals, Audrey too has gotten so big it's almost touching the ceiling. He is doing a TV interview when Audrey too slumps over. Noting it needs to be fed, he orders everyone to leave. He runs away from the shop wondering what he will do. He's afraid that if Audrey too dies, then Audrey will leave him. Audrey tells Seymour that people are offering big money to take the plant from him. With that news, he asks Audrey to marry him, and she accepts his proposal. Ecstatic, Audrey leaves to get her things, and Seymour goes to the shop to get his things, all the while trying not to alert Audrey too. Despite his carefulness, it notices him, asking to be fed once more. Seymour tells Audrey too he will get him some ground beef to appease the plant, to its displeasure. Audrey too then pulls itself to a phone to call Audrey. It reveals to her to be sentient and causes her to come over to the shop to investigate. Audrey too begs for a drink which she thinks means water. However, Audrey too pulls her into his mouth and chomps down on her. Seymour arrives back at the shop just before Audrey is completely eaten. He pulls her out of its mouth getting one last conversation with her. She asks him to feed her body to Audrey too so that that way she can stay with him even in death. She dies in his arms and reluctantly offers her body to Audrey too who consumes the body whole. Seymour runs out of the shop and climbs to the top of a building with the intention to kill himself. Just before he jumps, a man from the International Licensing and Marketing comes to talk with him about a new deal. He informs Seymour that they have been able to take a part of Audrey II and regrow a new one. He tells him they will pay to cut small leaves off to make new Audrey IIs and sell them so that all of America can own one. He runs back into the shop to confront Audrey II about its plan. It thanks him for aiding its plans in world domination. No longer needing his help, Audrey too eats Seymour too, spitting out his glasses and laughing. With nobody to warn the world, Audrey too starts selling everywhere and slowly get bigger to take over all of New York. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.